Hi guys. Sorry, I'm not here today. I want you guys to get started on your first project of the quarter, which is going to be an abstract stamp that you're going to make. So all we need is a piece of string and a piece of cardboard. So the first thing that you're going to do is write your name and your class period. So you'll write your name, not Ganem, and then first period or ninth period and then flip it over. Very important that you put your name on the back because they all look the same at the end of this first day. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the designs that you created in your sketchbook on abstract art and we're going to use them for inspiration to make one of these stamps. So take this design and you don't have to copy it, you're just kind of using ideas from it and the ideas that originally came from one of those sheets. And you're just going to sketch out something that you want to have as your design on the cardboard. So think about space, like we talked about balance, overlapping. Oh, don't press too hard. Maybe you want this. And then you don't want to do anything too tiny. You don't want to do zigzags like that because think about the size of the string that you're going to use and it's never going to work on a zigzag like that. So say you want a zigzag, you can do super large zigzags, something like that. Okay. So once you have your design, you're going to take glue and you need a little bit more glue than you need. So I like to tell students to kind of hover the glue bottle over the lines and work slowly. So you have a nice amount of glue. And I'll just do one section at a time. And then this is just going to follow the glue. And sometimes people like to do it in two parts. So if you have something that's ending here, you might want to cut that off. And then you can start this next one right here. And it will dry, not immediately, so you have a little bit of time to work with it. But by the end of the class period, these will all be dry. And press them down. And you're going to go ahead and do that with your string for all of the shapes that you decided to do. These are going to be painted over. Eventually, they're going to look something like this with a lot of different colors. So if you decide not to go with one of these designs that you already drew on, that's fine. You don't have to do that. No one's going to even know that it was ever there. So if you decide that's going to be too much work and you just want to make something like a diagonal line right there, that's totally fine too. So you should have enough string to do your designs. If you want a little bit more, you can get some more in the bin um, that the substitute has. This is how much I have left. So if you have extra, you can put it back in the bin. Maybe someone else might want it, or you can use it to kind of balance out your design so you have enough space. Once you're finished with these, please put them on the counter where you guys put your sketchbooks to dry, and we'll let them dry until after spring break. Hope you guys all have a great spring break. Enjoy it.